day-to-day -day symptoms of COVID-19. Before proceeding, please note that this general overview is compiled for initial self-assessment only and may vary for each individual. If you are not feeling well, you should immediately consult a medical practitioner to have an accurate diagnosis and proper treatment of COVID-19. The typical daily symptoms are concluded from the study of 138 patients at Zhongyang Hospital of Wuhan University and another study involving 135 patients from Jinyin Tan Hospital and 56 patients from Wuhan Pulmonary Hospital. These symptoms are broken down into Day 1 to Day 2 the beginning symptoms are similar to the common cold, with a mild sore throat and neither having a fever nor feeling tired. Patients can still consume food and drink as usual. Day 3. The patient's throat starts to feel a bit painful. Body temperature reads at around 36.5 degrees Celsius. Although it's uncommon, other symptoms like mild nausea, vomiting or mild diarrhea are possible to set in. Day 4. Throat pain becomes more serious. Other symptoms like feeling weak and joint pain start to manifest. The patient may show a temperature reading between 36.5 degrees to 37 degrees Celsius. Day 5 to 6. Mild fever starts. The patients show a temperature reading above 37.2 degrees Celsius. The second most common symptom, dry cough, also appears. Dyspnea or breathing difficulty may occur occasionally. Most patients in this stage are easily feeling tired. Other symptoms remain about the same. These four symptoms are among the top five key indications of COVID-19, according to the final report of the initial outbreak conducted by the Joint Mission of China and WHO. Day 7. The patients that haven't started recovering by day 7 get more serious coughs and breathing difficulty. Fever can get higher, up to 38 degrees Celsius. Patients may develop further headache and body pain, or worsening diarrhea if there's any. Many patients are admitted to hospital at this stage. Day 8 to 9. On the 8th day, the symptoms are likely to be worsened for the patient who has coexisting medical conditions. Severe shortness of breath becomes more frequent. Temperature reading goes well above 38 degrees. In one of the studies, day 9 is the average time when sepsis starts to affect 40% of patients. Day 10 to 11. Doctors are ordering imaging tests like chest x-ray to capture the severity of respiratory distress in patients. Patients are having loss of appetite and may be facing abdominal pain. The condition also needs immediate treatment in ICU. Day 12 to 14. For the survivors, the symptoms can be well managed at this point. Fever tends to get better and breathing difficulties may start to cease on day 13. But some patients may still be affected by mild cough even after hospital discharge. Day 15 to 16. Day 15 is the opposite condition for the rest of the minority patients. The fragile group must prepare for the possibility of acute cardiac injury or kidney injury. Day 17 to 19. COVID-19 fatality cases happen at around day 18. Before the time, vulnerable patients may develop a secondary infection caused by a new pathogen in the lower respiratory tract. The severe condition may then lead to blood coagulation and ischemia. Day 20 to 22. The surviving patients are recovered completely from the disease and are discharged.